It's interesting the reasons why uh, people have said they don't want fluoride in their right. water. I want to know that. All right. In the 1950s, excuse me, I want to just quote no, this. No, do but, it because I was around yeah, that. Yeah. In the 1950s, uh, fluoridation was uh, said to be a communist plot. It was. <laughs> it was. <laughs> in, the 19, in the 60s, fluoridation was called pollution. In, uh, during the 1970s, during the Vietnam War, fluoridation opponents capitalized on the popular, popularity of conspiracy theories by p portraying fluoridation as a conspiracy among the U.S. government, the dental uh, medical establishment, and industry. In the 1980s, fluoridation opponents claimed fluoride caused AIDS and Alzheimer's disease. I'm not making this up. What? In the 1990s, claims of hip fractures and cancer were designed to resonate with middle-aged baby boomers. And with the new millennium, overexposure to toxicity and associated with in association with lead poisoning surfaces common themes. In 2008, discussions about the cost of fluoridation were more commonplace. And then in the 2010s, neurotoxicity became a constant theme with charges of lower IQ and autism. 